Have you ever dreamed of traveling to Tanzania, the land where the wilderness roars and the culture dances to the rhythm of Africa? Well, today we're going to guide you through the process of planning a two-week trip to this beautiful East African gem. First things first, when to go. Tanzania's climate varies from tropical along the coast to temperate in the highlands. However, the best time to visit is during the dry season, from late June to October. This is when wildlife is easiest to spot as animals gather around water sources. Next, you need to decide what you want to see. Are you interested in wildlife? Then, the Serengeti National Park and Ningorongoro Crater should be on your list. If you're a fan of the beach, the Zanzibar Archipelago is a must-visit. History enthusiasts should not miss the Olduvai Gorge, known as the Cradle of Mankind. Now, on to the logistics. Start by checking your passport. Make sure it's valid for at least six months beyond your planned departure date. Then, apply for a visa. Tanzania requires most foreign visitors to obtain a visa, either before arrival or at the entry point. Once that's sorted, it's time to book your flights. Look for flights that arrive at Julius Nyerere International Airport in Dar es Salaam or Kilimanjaro International Airport near Arusha. These cities are the main gateways to Tanzania's tourist destinations. After landing, consider hiring a local guide. Not only will a guide help you navigate the country, but they will also provide valuable insights into the culture, history, and wildlife of Tanzania. Accommodation in Tanzania ranges from luxury lodges to budget campsites. Choose the one that suits your budget and preferences. Remember to book in advance, especially during peak season. When packing, remember to include lightweight clothing, a hat, sunscreen, and insect repellent. Also, don't forget your camera and binoculars for those unforgettable wildlife sightings. Once in Tanzania, respect local customs and traditions. Dress modestly, especially in rural areas. Learn a few words in Swahili, the national language. It can open doors and make your trip more enjoyable. To summarize, plan your trip during the dry season. Decide what you want to see, check your passport, apply for a visa, book your flights, consider hiring a local guide, choose your accommodation, pack appropriately, and respect local customs. Remember, Tanzania is a country rich in culture, wildlife, and natural beauty. A well-planned trip will allow you to experience all that this East African gem has to offer. So why wait? Start planning your dream trip to Tanzania today.